Every summer, groups of volunteers saddle up and travel around parts of the UK, performing a play and running workshops about environmental and social issues in a fun and interactive way. Along the way, tour members have the chance to learn about sustainable living whilst walking, sorry, cycling the talk. So what exactly do we like to make a song and dance about? It's no secret that on our cycle tours we cycle everywhere. For too long, emotional extremities have been uncharted territory. When we stop off and do our transport workshop, um, we teach the basics of bike maintenance and think about new ideas of how to make environmentally friendly transport more accessible. Whilst on tour, we proudly wear our beautiful Atesha t shirts. They are printed with organic vegetable dyes on a reverse of old t-shirts saved from landfill. We introduce audience members to new ways of recycling and creating fashion, just like Sarah from the Magpie's Nest, which we visited when we were cycling through Glasgow. 1980s Ninja Turtle curtains. <laughs> Liz made this from a 70s duvet cover. Wow. Zoe, who's 14, made that from <gasps> curtains. Wow. That was Who's a duvet playing? cover. Just shift dresses, and we can pretty much do that They're with amazing. no skill in six yeah. weeks. Mm. Pauline made that from a tablecloth. That one's really nice. Mm. It's lovely. Mm. And Zoe made that from an IKEA tablecloth. Oh, wow. Morella will be wearing that next year, cool. next week. Oh, that's, that's a blackout great. curtain and a scarf. So we sell that that's in the awesome. shop at 20 quid. Yeah. So someone that's affordable, it's unique, and it switches someone into eco fashion mm. rather than. Food is very important on our tour, not only because it powers our pedals, but because ethical training and food sustainability are very important to us. Cycle Tours established their own idea of a low impact diet collectively coming up with a food mandate, which prioritises local, fair trade, organic and mostly vegetarian food. This is then followed when shopping for group meals. I did. I used my consumer choice for the better. Well I've had a positive impact on the world. Oh, and, you, <laughs> it's a positive face. and what else have you got there? Some yogurt. <laughs> Not very vegan, but it's organic. Cool. It um, has, yeah. Why do you choose organic? Because it's important. Um, organic is um, the alternative to pesticides, which are destroying the environment. As well as making a song and dance about issues like organic and local, we think it's important to recognise global systems of production involved in the things we consume every day. The Great Banana Chain Game traces the secret life of a banana and examines the impact on the people and places involved in its life. It encourages participants to think about fair trade. On tour we love ethical, sustainable and fairly traded products. When you're camping for six weeks, you very quickly become aware of how much energy we consume in our daily lives, most of which comes from oil and coal. On tour, we learn about the more sustainable alternatives, like... They're using up all their energy resources and they don't have any way of getting a new energy source. But, but wait a second, they've just had an idea. They could harvest the wind power they have. <gasps> wow, they're beautiful. Wind turbines. Oh, look, happy human beings. If you'd like to know more about all the workshops Atesha offers, or perhaps have us come form our play in your community, then please get in touch. <laughs>